from a recreational waterway that it's listed as to a actual drainage ditch. No. <laughs> because if they're coming August 2nd and it doesn't rain two weeks before then, they're going to be able to walk the entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, and uh, I've got with Keith today, uh, we're going to get together tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, we've got to have all this paperwork and everything turned in before August so they can review the paperwork before they come. And so hopefully they'll just be doing the inspections and the mapping stuff while they're here. So it'll be a full two days. Okay. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Industrial? Anything? No. Nothing at this time. Hospital. Uh, apparently, there's something going on out there because uh, they blocked off the uh, uh, different accesses to the hospital uh, with no trespassing <coughs> signs. Uh, there's been vehicles out there for the last oh close to a week now. I was told that some of the engineers are in town and. Uh, so hopefully things are going to continue along that line. I, uh, I don't have anything particularly solid except it's starting to change. Good. All right. All right. Unfinished business. Uh, we'll go down to the B first here, which is discuss the Chamber of Commerce allocation uh, contract, which is uh, what I understand is the in reading it, it's the same contract that we've approved each year. Uh, all we did was change the date. Okay. What, how much was it for in the past? Uh, it's uh, 25000 This is the tourism contract yeah. from, mm -hmm. from sales tax. That they made a request through sales tax. To sell the sales hearing. Tax. And this is just a contract for them. <clears throat> your, your request to do it. This is the contract, uh, first day of July between the city of Kennett uh, and the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, tourism promotion tax be paid uh, by the guest motels and hotels in the city proceeds. The sole purpose of promoting tourism. <coughs> so this is the tourism tax. What it is is just a contract for, yeah. for the Chamber of Commerce uh, provides tourism services to the city and the city pays them $25,000. Would it be easier if we just let them manage the tourism account? Because every time, like today, Melissa has to come up and ask for approval. That that should be automatically. It's just another department yeah. or another, well, another park board, etc. Uh, <laughs> is there a reason we have it this way? The reason we have it this way is that the city can't just pay the Chamber of Commerce $25,000 and say, here's $25,000. I'm, I'm, I'm saying leave it the same. They, they yeah. keep 25 out of, the, out of the tourism and the difference they use it for various. Yeah, this 25 doesn't come out of tourism. It does. No, sales tax. Um, that's not my understanding. Is it, Melissa? It's historically come out of tourism. Oh, okay. We would love if it came from sales tax. That'd give us more to work with. Yeah, it's tourism. set up to come out of tourism. The tourism brings. Okay, I mean below board. That, that's fine. <coughs> but, I mean, we've had we've had this contract with them Correct. before we ever had the tourism tax. Correct. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I mean we've had the we uh, uh, we've had uh, twenty five thousand dollar contract mm -hmm. with tourism, okay. and in the past we've also had a twenty five thousand dollar for economic provide economic development services. Uh, now it's just by tourism services for the twenty-five thousand. I'm okay. Well, we're still going to we're still running into a situation with the, the economic development because we're right now we're <coughs> the, the the county is going to begin to have an economic development group, but we still need to figure out how we're going to handle the city of Kennett, and if we don't have an economic development program or contract with Chamber of Commerce will be without that specifically for Kenneth. And so we, we have a we have the two different situations here. We have the uh, 
uh, tourism, and then we have the economic development. Yeah, we need to treat it separately. One right. they're, they're two separate, yeah, two two separate, separate things. things right? so, yeah. so for first off, we'll, let's handle the uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, the tourism promotion tax. Yeah, I'll make a motion with so we'll renew the same contract. Okay. We'll renew the contract. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Then we'll bring that in the development. No, okay. we'll go on the next meeting. I'll do that. So, or what it's not on the agenda. Okay. 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 All right. And then, any other discussion on chamber of commerce allocation? Um, we have to figure out how to finance it. If we're going to need to finance that. Economic development. Uh, the, uh, economic development. So we've got the county mm -hmm. by now, but we don't have anything specifically for Kenneth. So if they're calling for somebody from the city of Kenneth, we have to figure out how to deal with that if we're not going to deal with the Chamber of Commerce. But, uh, uh, Melissa, what's your estimate on what it would cost to run that? Um, if you remember, back in May, um, the Chamber Board, the same time that we presented for sales tax allocation for the tourism, um, Chamber President Jeff Doris presented to those here that we were estimating that to run a complete economic development department that would cost about $120,000. And we had invited conversation between um, CLGW, the City of Kent, and the County to maybe split up that funding. Since then, Dunkin County has decided that they will hire their own, but still the City of Kent, I would urge you to uh, figure out what you're going to do for yourself. because. As you know, since July 1st of last year, there has no, been no one formally performing that duty for the city of Kennett. At your request, we picked it up, and it's been brought up several times over the past year about kicking some funding to the chamber, but that's not formally happened. So we brought the conversation formally again in April of this year, um, but, it, but there's come a time where we can no longer perform those services without compensation. So our estimate to run a complete department was $120,000. How that was broken up was going to be up to the entity.